yes, I am outside because I am black and I need my fresh air. Okay, so I don't sound racist only because I didn't mention any Kool-Aid or any chicken. Just a little FYI. So when it comes to sneakers, I like to call myself a big boss. I like business. I need business. Business makes the world go around. Business keeps my collection stocked. So you would say that if I'm a businessman per se, that I mean business when conducting sneaker business. Yeah, well, some people don't really understand that. So I got this homie that I would always talk to about sneakers. We would always talk business regarding our shoes, but we would never get to the point of actually going through with a trade. Until one day, I had these Nike SB butt heads that I had only worn a couple of times and I put them up for sale. Let me just say that I hit the steal of a lifetime when I traded those Nike SB butt heads at my local sneaker shop for some 1999 Air Jordan Stealth 15s. OG boy. But back to the story. My homie saw that I was selling those particular SBs and decided to take a stab at it. Let me just say, that dude was calling my phone like he had no phone bill to pay. Every text, every phone call is regarding the SBs. So I say, you know what? Let's go ahead and set this date since you're serious. We set the date and the business info and I was supposed to be selling my SBs for 85 bucks. Now, I myself had already planned what I was gonna do with the 85 bucks, so I was already like freaking excited. So then, that day comes around. It's the day, gang day, time to be clutch. The school day is over, and before I get on the bus to go home, I make sure with this dude. I walk up, hey dude, are, are, you, are you sure you're going down with the deal? Are you sure you're going down with the deal? Dude looks at me, says, yeah dude, we're gonna go out with the deal. He says, bruh, as soon as you get home, grab the kicks, walk out your house, walk to the front of your neighborhood, and I'll meet you there. So what do I do? I get home, grab the kicks, and walk to the top of my neighborhood. As I'm sitting there walking, I'm just thinking of how that 85 bucks is about to look in my pocket. It was as if it was a long lost stepson or something. I just needed that time to spend with that 85 bucks. So I get to the top of my neighborhood, right? And I'm just sitting there, I'm just chilling. I'm just waiting on it. So I call. First attempt, no answer. 15 minutes goes by. So I call again, no answer. Five minutes goes by. Now this time I'm starting to get pissed, so I call again. But this time I'm really calling to tell him to be on high alert because when I see him, he should be catching this fade. So homie answers the phone, right? And I'm like, bruh, bruh, where you at? Homie says, bruh, give me five minutes. I'm about to be there. So you know what I do? I say, all right, I hang up and I'm still sitting there just waiting. Bruh, 30 minutes goes by. Dude never showed up. Dude, my mom was about to come home, and it was one of those times in my life where my mom had me on lock, where I couldn't leave the house without asking her where I was going, you know, without without being like, hey, mom, I'm going here. Is it okay if I go? Like, I couldn't leave the house without, without doing that. So what I had to do, I had to pick my tire legs up, hustle home before that 4 o'clock hit, because we already know I'm not trying to get grounded. I get home, hit dude's line automatically. Automatically. Homie got called at least 20 times. It's funny because the dude all of a sudden went ghost. I get to school the next day, and you know, I'm looking for the dude, I'm scoping, I'm scoping. But it turns out dude was in the middle of a school transfer. So pretty much, I wasted all that time for nothing. And I ain't get my 85 bucks. But it's cool, I ain't tripping. We gonna cross paths again. And when we do, you gonna catch this fade. But definitely thank you guys for watching this video. I would really appreciate it if you guys checked out my channel and subscribed. I got more stories just like this one. I got your unboxings. I got your company showcases. I got your vlogs. I got more stories just like the ones that you've just seen. Sneak reviews. Matter of fact, I got plenty of things to fill your little YouTube needs. So without further ado, I'd just like to say, hey, 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 Chris, out.